Today, we're going to be training you how to preserve your fresh fruits and vegetables. I want to teach you today that bringing the food from the garden to the table is something we need to go back to doing. It kept you active. It gave you whole, healthy foods. Any time you was in a pinch and you had to do a quick meal, you could take out a jar of that corn oak tomato soup, cook one cup of rice, have a little glass of wine, and you got your meat and dinner. When you walk out of here, I want you to walk out with that confidence that ain't nothing wrong with what I made. You can't be scared of your food. Tell me why you here today, your favorite vegetable, and how you boogie. We got apple butter, pickled cucumber. We got white peaches, pear preserves, and this here is my new favorite. Blueberries with tiger. This is for them romantic evenings I'm going to tell you about. <laughs> you may get some more friends you don't want to see. Here's my book. Oh, I love the book. So this is not only for survival, it's also to help other people. It's also to bring your families together, to start talking to each other at a kitchen table. Back in my mother's day, they used to have candy parties. The women would be in the kitchen talking trash, and the men be out in the barn talking trash. From those trash stories, they would learn everything about life. And that's where it starts. You're starting to communicate with each other. You're showing you're putting the love in the food. We have a, a, a mason jar that I just took out of the boiling hot water. This is our pickling solution. Now, we're going to make some dilly beans. You know the things that go good with Bloody Marys. <laughs> And I guarantee you, if you start to do this, they're gonna have people stealing your job because it worked. And this here is only for medicinal purposes, not socially. Medicinal purposes, the blood of Mary. Okay, so I like a little garlic in mine. Garlic, I love garlic. Garlic uh, brings down the pressure, makes the food taste good. I love that. And now I'm gonna start to put in my dilly beans. Don't be stingy. Push it down, heat it up, run it over, press down, and put some more. Nobody likes a chintzy jar. Just keep putting it in until you can't hold no more, up to the first rim, because you don't want to overflow. I told you that it's the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Okay? You remember that, gentlemen? You just do the cooking, the ladies will do the rest. Oh, so I put some fresh dill in there, because I like the taste of dill. I also have some pickling spice. Do you, do you want a little of that, or do you want hot pepper flakes? You, oh, right now, now you're talking. I like a little spicy. Yes, you put on a little slow jam. You know, Michael Jackson. Ooh, man in the mirror. I like it. I like it. Oh, he said he likes it hot. Ladies, remember that. He likes it hot. Oh, you see the response you get, ladies. I tell you what I use is working. This is a pickling solution I made. It is one cup of vinegar, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and three cups of water. Our one, two, three. This is our rubber seal. I want you to see this because every time you put something in this jar, you got to use a new one. This is what protects your food and stores your food. If this is scratch, don't use it. You put that on like that. This is your top. Okay, now, then I do shake, 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 shake your booty. Guys, the women love that. <laughs> now that's your first jar. We're going to enter this jar back in the hot water canning. The book says 15 minutes, I give it five for good measure, so about 20 minutes. Then you take the jars out, you let them cool. After you let them cool, you tighten the top because there's a suction that brings down the seal when it's boiling. You wipe off the jar and you put that up in your cabinet at least 30 days so that the seasoning can set in. And when you, while doing them 30 days, you plan a special event around it. You either have a, a romantic dinner or a family dinner 
or a single dinner. Children are going to be asking, Mom, can I have some more dilly beans? Can I have some more strawberry jam? Whatever you make. But the good thing about this, when you serve it to your children, you already know what's in it. Come on now. Let's boogie. Come on. One of y'all, two at a time. Fill the jar. I'm hungry.